the 1970s, the Campus Crusade for Christ ministry expanded across Asia, including Singapore. And God blessed these ministries, and many men and women came to know the Lord. Dr. Victor Cope recognized the need for further biblical training and cross-cultural training as a number of countries were sending forth uh, missionaries to other countries. And so God put it on his heart to begin a school of theology in Singapore. The school was to go beyond the basic training to further equip leaders biblically and for cross-cultural ministry. Other leaders, including myself, embraced this vision and the East Asia School of Theology was conceived. So Laurel and I came to Singapore in 1989 to help start EAST. Since our vision was to impact East Asia for Christ, it was a natural that East should have a very strong missions uh, emphasis to equip those that were involved in missions to reach the unreached people in Asia and beyond. In those early years, we faced many challenges. Uh, so we made a practice each week uh, together for prayer. God was faithful to answer our prayers. One of the first challenges that we faced was applying to the Singapore Ministry of Education uh, to launch EAST in Singapore. The application and approval process took well over uh, a year. Uh, and as a result of prayer and a lot of hard work, on August 20th, 1992, um, EAST received approval from the Singapore Ministry of Education. A few weeks later, we opened classes at the uh, Crew Singapore Great Commission Training Center lo located on South Buena Vista Road with six master students and four full-time faculty. At that time, we had only one uh, classroom that served as our library uh, also, um, and we had three or four faculty sharing uh, uh, an office. It was crowded. We could get by that first year. Uh, but what was going to happen for the second year when we got another group of students? So we prayed and asked God for a larger facility. Uh, Victor Pondion, who was the prayer coordinator of the Crew East Asia Ministry and was also a member of Christ Anglican Church, noticed an empty section of the church premises which had been previously used as a secondary school. With Victor's help, we worked out an arrangement to renovate and to rent the vacant section. And so by the end of our first year of classes, we were able to move to the facility at Christ Church. We stayed at the, at the door set road location even until now. God also answered our prayers concerning our faculty needs. Each time we needed additional faculty, uh, we asked the Lord to bring teachers to us with a heart to train and equip Asian Christian leaders and who were willing to raise their own financial support. That was the tough part. And God brought teachers to us uh, step by step from Singapore, Malaysia, U.S., Korea, and other countries. Some full-time, some part-time. Uh, we had one even come all the way from Africa to teach as a visiting teacher.
coming from the humble beginnings of uh, East, and we have always been a, a, an organization that that's by faith, and God has provided graciously. We've seen how God has brought in resources to us that we believe it is purely by the hand of God. What will it be like in the next 25 years? How big will it be? How will it expand its influence and ministry to countries around us where the opportunities are developing, where God is working in special ways? My reflection is people. Uh, the students uh, that came to study at East, those who graduated, we went through some very difficult times in those early years in our school. But the, the thing that did not change was the product. The E students and graduates uh, were worth all the difficulties. The vast majority of our students and graduates uh, have and are putting in practice the things that they learned at East and are ministering effectively in places all around the world. Looking back, we see that the fruit of the ministry is being deployed to the mission field. We say we have been blessed of the Lord and I will call that success in the Lord's grace. So that's our desire to remain completely dependent upon the Lord and to trust Him to bring results that will honour Him and glorify Him towards the fulfilment of the Great Commission. We give thanks to the Lord for His great faithfulness. And we pray that the next 25 years will have even a greater impact for Christ than the first 25 years.